Uh, okay, so in the in the previous bit, we installed the WebLogic software, um, and now we're going to go ahead and try to start the domain we created. Uh, we used the configuration manager uh, in the previous bit to create a, a domain, and now we're going to go ahead and try to start it up. Uh, right now, we're in our our WebLogic home, uh, home web WebLogic. Um, so. To get to our domain, we're going to go into user projects, and then we're going to go into domains, and here we'll see the domains we created. And this is, of course, the domain we just uh, created previously using the configuration manager. And let's go ahead and try to, whoops, uh, let's move into the uh, domain directory. First and uh, okay, and we're gonna go ahead and run the start web logic sh uh, script uh, to go ahead and st uh, start up our server. Okay. And now it's prompting us for the administrator username and password um, that we selected when we installed the software, the username WebLogic, and the password that you put in. And let's see what happens. Okay. Standby starting. Okay. Now uh, started and now we see um, this error uh, here. Okay, input action on WSDL operation. Uh, okay, now this is a whoops. Um, this is a known bug. Um, there's a patch for it, and we're gonna go ahead and apply the patch now. Um, okay, and so let's go ahead and apply that. So let's go ahead and stop this operation here. Okay. Um, okay. So, so, so to apply the patch, we're going to use uh, the uh, um, we're going to use the smart update. Okay. So um, let's go to our. Oops. Okay, so we're going to go into, whoops, okay, so we're in our web object home utils uh, BSU directory here, okay, and to run the smart updater, um, we're going to run the uh, BSU SH uh, file script. Okay. Okay. Um, now, at this point, you would have uh, configured this with your CSI um, uh, here on this demo machine. I actually downloaded the, the patch already. Um, and I placed it into the uh, into the cache directory um, uh, under BSU for the for the smart update. Um, so it, it's already there. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and apply the the patch. Um, the patch number and the specifics are in the blog post. Let's just go ahead and apply it now. Okay. No conflicts detected. Let's go ahead and run it. Okay, and okay, there we go. Okay, and our patch is now applied for this. Let's exit out of the smart updater and go back and try to start our domain again. Okay, so. Uh, 
back into the web logic home uh, and user user projects domains and the domain creator is David okay and now let's have another go at starting our domain And once again, prompted for the password that we created when we installed the software. Um, had you chosen development mode instead of production mode, uh, you would bypass the prompt. Okay. Okay, it's running and no more error. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go to, I'm doing this remotely and I have this on the demo server. Uh, let's the URL here, there we go. Go to uh, your domain, or if you're running under local host or whatever, uh, on 7001 by default, console. And hopefully we should see our WebLogic uh, administration console. Um, okay, so uh, let's go ahead and log in again using the credentials we created. We we'll install the software and see how everything looks. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're in the administration console now uh, for WebLogic. So uh, we installed Java, the JDK 7. Uh, we put Java into the path of the users. Uh, we create, we install the uh, the WebLogic software, and then uh, we use the configuration manager to create a domain. <coughs> and then uh, after applying the the patch, uh, <laughs> we were able to start the domain and access the uh, WebLogic administration console. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's log out of here. Okay. 